Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile? since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine. Thus he declared, all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Try to imagine that you're in a great battle and you're surrounded, <clears throat> bombs are going off, machine guns firing everywhere, and you're afraid for your life. And your friend <clears throat> next to you, who's also fighting with you, turns to you and says, excuse me, do you have any suntan lotion? I'm afraid of getting a sunburn. Your thought probably would be, are you kidding? Like, we're about to die here, and you're worried about getting a sunburn? Now, when you go, obviously, to the ocean, to the beach, might be a good idea to do. But in the middle of battle, when you're about to be killed, would that really be important at that moment? Jesus is often confronting the Pharisees because there's a greater battle. He's come to tell them about the true battle for their souls. It's life and death. He's come to reveal to them the sins that they have. He lists a lot of them. Evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, licentiousness, folly, all these evils that are within, and they're worried about other things. They're worried about religious practices that maybe were helpful for the day, but not the ones that are going to bring them eternal life. Jesus brings eternal life. And you can see that different times in the gospel, Jesus is getting frustrated both with his apostles and the Pharisees and the Sadducees because they're not getting why he's there. They're worried about all kinds of different things. And what's essential, Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life, <clears throat> what is essential, they're not so worried about. The thing that's harming them from when, in, inside of them, that's causing decay and destruction within them, they're not worried about. Jesus speaks to us today because we can often be like them. 
We can often get caught up in all kinds of dramas, all kinds of things that are not so important. And the things that Jesus wants to tell us about ourselves deep within us, maybe it's because of pride, maybe it's because of fear, anxiety. We, it's, we're afraid to look. What if I look deep within at my faults, my, my sins, my weaknesses? What if I do that? Will I be overwhelmed? And Jesus wants to bring us the message that he's come, he wants us to enter. He talks about the stuff that enters. He wants us to let him enter into our hearts. All these things that he, he mentions, he's the one that comes to destroy those. He came to destroy sin and death. And so instead of being afraid to look at these and being afraid of him, to have courage and say, Jesus, enter, enter into my mind and my heart. Show me those things, those areas of my life that are keeping me from you. They're, they're causing my heart to die inside of me. One of the things in the imitation of Christ, Thomas Akempis writes about, sometimes when, we, when we're with a group of people, and one or two of them, there's something about them that aggravates us. We just, we don't like them. And he said, look closely. Because often, what we don't like about that person is something we don't like about ourselves. Uh, they, can be, they can be a mirror for us. So, so pay attention to that, is what the advice of Thomas Akempis. A week from today, a week from this morning, you will have ashes put on your forehead, and we will again begin Lent. And so maybe this whole week before Ash Wednesday, begin to seriously pray and ask Jesus, Jesus, what are the things from within uh, that are hurting me? Maybe it's unforgiveness. Maybe it's this need for, for gossiping. Maybe it's this need to be judgmental or very judgmental upon others. Uh, maybe it's sexual sins. Maybe it's overusing uh, the computers or our phones. But take that next week, the next couple of days, and kind of begin to make a plan. Not just, I'm going to, I'm going to, do some fasting and uh, make some Lenten practices just so I can do it and then say, okay, I got through another Lent and now I can rejoice with Easter. Don't do it that way. Do it in a sense of my relationship with Jesus. Everyone is telling me it's important. And maybe I believe it. Maybe I'm having difficulty believing it. But I keep being told it's important. And so let's do Lenten practices this year specifically that we can increase friendship with Jesus, that we can invite him into our lives so he can continue to guide us, love us, and bring us healing. Amen. Mm -hmm.